I didn't see you there. Take a seat. I'm just finishing up one of my paintings. Speaking of art, the Baroque period is my favorite, as my two favorite painters, Caravillo and Bernini. Their contributions revolutionized that era. Well, don't just sit there. Follow me. The Baroque period spanned from the 1600s to the 1700s. Baroque actually means irregular or flawed pearl. Baroque style paintings and sculptures had a tendency to be stormy and more dynamic than earlier styles. This particular era is identified as encompassing an art of passion and emotion, resembling a more dynamic form of presentation. Some key words that can be used to describe this specific period of time are forceful, brilliant, tense, bursting with energy, sensual, and extravagant. With the many new scientific discoveries in the Baroque period, including advances in motion through time and space by Newton, along with the light by Pascal, had been adopted by artists to create a more unique style. Bernini, 1598 to 1680, is similar to artists in the Italian Renaissance due to his practice in architecture, sculpture, painting, stage design, and playwright. A perfect example of a prodigy with his first works dating back to his 8th birthday along with his first commission at age 11. With the praise of the painter Annibal Caracci and the patronage of Pope Paul IV, Bernini soon was able to become an independent sculptor. His first work, which describes many of his revolutionary techniques, is depicted in his David, showing a figure casting a stone at an unseen opponent. It is strictly different than its Renaissance pre predecessors because Bernini chose the most dynamic moment to convey the event. As a result, created a dynamic, theatrical, lively work which occupies our space. Michelangelo Merci de Caravillo, 1571 to 1610. An Italian artist had grown to dislike the artists of the Renaissance period. With his little respect of religious authority, along with his own negative actions, caused him to be an outcast from society. He was still able to influence many individuals, both Italian and Northern, by the opening of an art of school. A violent man, Caravio had partaken in many physical assaults and even a murder in Rome, consequently fleeing from authorities along with associating himself with the wrong crowd influenced him in dulling down the great religious themes in his career. A perfect example of this is when Caravio was employed to do a conversion of St. Paul to human drama. The figures are no longer as grand and dignified as in the ideal beauty of the Renaissance figures. The horse has more important position in the painting than St. Paul, along with the fact that the backside of a horse is not entirely important to the scripture. Lastly is that Caravio enjoyed neutralism that intrigued and influenced many northern artists.